Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you the ultimate Samba configuration. So I have a, a PC somewhere in, in another room and it has a RAID set up. So I, I want to save all my stuff there. And we have, you know, we have a Linux machine. We have my, my wife's uh, Mac OS X machine. And the idea is that we want to be able to, to share um, the, the RAID drive, keep all our images there and all that sort of stuff. But the thing is I was afraid of is what happens if my wife or even I accidentally, uh, you know, like say you're going through a lot of images, say you accidentally delete some images that you actually want to get back. So I have the configuration. Let me just uh, quickly show it to you. It looks something like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me just quickly show you it working. So this is my wife's MacBook. I'm just going to take a screenshot. I'll take a screenshot of this. I'm just going to drag the screenshot over into the foo folder. Did that work? Yeah, it did. Kind of. Uh, yeah. So my Wi-Fi is not, is not excellent in this room. So over on this machine, um, let's see if the file came over. Yeah, it's that exact screenshot. I just, just, um, uh, copied over but say I delete that screenshot um, say I delete that screenshot and maybe I even delete something from over here uh, what should I do from over here I'm just like stupid delete delete you cannot it says you can't undo this action you can't undo this action you can't so what actually happens is that it appears over here actually it appears um, sorry these are the very things I just deleted so it's actually saved uh, until um, you know I have a, a job that sort of deletes the old things and, and recycle bin after 30 days or something so let me just show you the magic that made this all happen because I honestly spent days coming up with the Samba configuration and I haven't actually uh, I've, I've been testing it with my RAID 1 store uh, which is done by <laughs> over two USB over better uh, beat uh, butter FS um, but that I'll say that for another video so the so the the um, the interesting things to note here is that uh, you can't have a guest account with uh, Mac OS 10 you have to have passwords um, otherwise you can't mount the drive so there, there's a couple of accounts I've created um, for my wife and I and setting up the password it was a bit strange but I'll maybe save that for another video but it, you have to use like some password so I have a password set up it's not the same as Pam and um, what else is important here um, the yeah I found permissions a nightmare and now just force root and force 777 that kind of seems to work but the real magic when it comes to this whole recycling thing so you can undelete things easily is these four lines so VFS VFS object um, I'll link to the uh, Samba documentation and I just created a usually people use a dot directory here but I just created a big fat dot uh, deleted and cap all caps there keep tree so you actually know which folder it came from and uh, something to do with permissions again. So, so there you have it. That, that is my Samba configuration that I've found to be ideal that I've been testing lately. And uh, I'll keep you updated. And if you have any of your own tips with Samba, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.